Hey guys, it's Flip. Today I'm going to show you how to clean the filter and impeller on a Bosch dishwasher. So this is my dishwasher I installed a few months ago. It's a Bosch Silence Plus 48 DBA, but this process will be very similar on a lot of these models. And I have not cleaned out the filter yet, so I figured I'd do that today and show you how it's done. So the filter is down here at the bottom. To get to it, you need to pull out this lower rack. You can just leave it like this and still access it, but I'm going to remove it just for ease of filming. Then this lower spray arm, you can just turn like this, but again, I'm going to remove it just to give me a little more room for filming. So when these two arrows are lined up, it shows that the filter is locked in place. So to remove the filter in this screen, you just turn this counterclockwise and then pull it straight out. And as you can see this definitely need a cleaning. So then what I'm going to do is take the filter off of this screen and then use an old toothbrush to scrape off some of this mashed potato looking nastiness. Then I'm going to soak these in some hot soapy water just to get the rest of the crud off of them. Next I'm going to show you how to get to the impeller which is down here which if you're having trouble draining water you definitely want to check out. I'm not, but I'm just going to go ahead and check it out and make sure there's no debris in here. So the first thing you need to do is get this standing water out of here so you can use like a turkey baster and suck that water out of there or you can just use a sponge and soak that water up and get it into a bowl. So let's go ahead and get in here. Well, first off, I got a couple peas in here. Let's go ahead and get those out. So what we have to do is get this white piece out to access the impeller blades. So just use some type of blunt object and pry this piece out. And then you would just pull it out and up like that and it'll come right out. So the impeller is right here and what you want to do is get in here with a pair of tweezers and make sure to get out anything hard that could get in the way like a piece of carrot or a piece of glass or even a hair clump or something like that. Once you're done with that just slide this white piece back into that hole and push it down and in and it should snap back into place like that. To put the filter back on the screen, you just push it straight on. Then seat the filter back in its compartment. And then turn this clockwise until the arrows line up. Then if you took it off, put your spray arm back on. Then put your lower rack back in. That's it. If this video helped you out, which I hope it did, Please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.